Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. The Lakers won the championship, but that has not stopped the media and the NBA world from looking at Kyle Kuzma trades. Is Kyle Kuzma on the trade chopping blocks? I brought in my buddy Zach to look at some of the top trade ideas and kind of get his opinion. Zach, how are you? I'm good, how are you? So I came across this article and it's titled five best trade destinations for Lakers forward Kyle Kuzma. And I want your opinion, okay? So the first team they have, and also guys, let us know in the comments what you guys think of these trades as well, is the Sacramento Kings. And it says, the purple and gold have been linked to Sacramento's uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich since the trade deadline last February. What are your thoughts on them shipping Kuzma out and getting Bogdanovich? I don't think the Kings would get rid of Bogdanovich. You don't think so? Like, I don't think... I Lakers would take that in a heartbeat, but I don't think the Kings would you don't take think they, that. You don't think the Kings would do that? No. Yeah, he's... Like you said, I'm not really sure. Like, Sacramento is in an interesting spot where, like, if Marvin Bagley Jr. can, you know, play, like, where he was drafted, that team, that team's very close to being really, really, really good. And they're also super young. So, you know, we'll see what happens over there. The next team is the Oklahoma City Thunder and Chris Paul. I know Chris Paul is getting older. It's, you know, LeBron James loves Chris Paul. They're, they love each other. Like, you know, they're, they're bros, they're boys. So could you see them shipping off Kuzma and getting like Chris Paul and maybe, you know, a piece or a draft pick? I mean, if I'm the Thunder, I don't take that at all. No, I mean, you're not doing Paul that. led them to the playoffs. He's helping Shea Gilchrist Alexander grow up and everything. I would not want that at all. Like if I was a Thunder, I mean, Kuzma is young, a lot younger than Paul. We all know that. But yeah. I'd still rather have Chris Paul than Kyle Kuzma, especially with the team that the Thunder are right now. Yeah, go on. Where it's just he's helping Shea become a better point. And they've got him. so many young guys coming in with so many draft picks that he can help exactly. mentor. Now, here's now here's an interesting one, Zach. All right. Derek he Rose. The, oh, the, you know, the Pistons and Lakers were in talks for Derek Rose at the trade deadline this year. Obviously, nothing happened. You know, maybe Kuzma for Derrick Rose and something else. What, what do you think there? Yeah, it intrigues me, but would I want to see it? No. no. I mean, like, obviously, I would love to see Derrick on a contender. Yeah. Um, being from Chicago and growing up watching him. But realistically, I just don't see him gelling well with LeBron and AD. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't see that happening. Yeah, that short spurt in Cleveland, what was that, like, you know, four years ago, three years ago? Something like that. But, and then, of course, the one that's been talked about the most, and I believe Bradley Beal, it's all started because Bradley Beal bought a house in Los Angeles, and then I think even his wife commented on something on social media, is the idea of the Wizards at some point dealing, uh, you know, Beal. They would, the Lakers would have to go up more than just Kuzman. I don't know if they really have the pieces, I should mention Bradley Beal is, uh, he can become a free agent in 2022. So he's got a couple years left there. But at some point in time, you have to think Bradley Beal wants to win. You can tell by his, just go back and last year, see the games where he dropped 40, 50 points and look at his body language or the fact that they still lost games. Do you think there is any chance Bradley Beal could end up in LA? Yeah. Um, I think there's a chance that he ends up in LA. I don't think it'll be for the Lakers though. That, there's the clipper bias. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I mean, I just, the thing about me is just, it's like the same thing with the Derrick Rose. I don't think that he would like fit good. I mean, like LeBron is obviously far and away better than John Wall. Same with AD. But it's just their play styles. Like, but I feel like you could give him that third scoring option like behind the arc that they kind of lacked in the postseason instead of Danny Green taking the shot to win. Oh, no, that? like. I, yeah. I think so too. I think he'd be a great three ball threat for them. But like you think about it, would Bradley Beal want to be that third yeah. guy and like just be that third guy to just score here and there? That's the thing that I don't think would work out well for him. That is true. Yeah. And now here's the one that I think makes the most sense. And I want your thoughts here is the Indiana Pacers and Victor Oladipo. There's been rumors surrounding the guard. Could you see that working where Oladipo goes to the Lakers? And return the Lakers get or the Pacers get Kuzma. Um, I would have to have a third team join in. You have to have third team join in. That. I mean, just a straight up Kuz for Oladipo. I wouldn't take that if I was Pacers. And then the Lakers, they don't really have that depth of the players. Like, 
to trade for right now either that already could fill it up but i can 100 percent see that happening if they add that a third team in there like the bulls yeah or like the pelicans or something you add a team like they're in in there and i could see that happening very likely Zach, i just think right now you know with golden state coming back we have to remember they have that second pick in the draft you know you've got the nets in the east you know obviously the clippers i just worry i don't think i think the lakers realize that they need to add something they need to add a third you know score they need to add somebody else to that team obviously free agency is right around the corner so we'll see what happens there but I just don't think that team has nearly enough depth. That's the problem. They're just so, you know, heavy. And the thing is, with that lack of depth that you just said, realistically, nobody, no team's going to give you a player that will be good enough, like, for that two or three option yeah. for just Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, that's the thing. We'll so see. They're going to have to give up a lot. We'll see what happens, guys. Anyway, please make sure you do drop a like. Please make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you think the Lakers are going to deal Kuzma? Also, something I should have mentioned earlier, it's a known fact LeBron prefers playing with, you know, veterans, players that are established, that have been around, than young stars. You've seen that throughout his career. So I think that's important to mention. Uh, make sure you do check out Zach as well. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.